Hello students, my name is Neyati Seth and thanks for watching Edpedia Word videos. My topic for the presentation is the 7th section of the chapter Control and Coordination, that is Chemical Control and Coordination. In this section of presentation, we'll be studying about the fifth gland and that is thymus. Okay? So thymus, it plays a role in immune system. It produces thymosin. It produces thymic humoral factor and thymic factor. And it is responsible for maturation of T lymphocyte. Students, you can say that thymus gland plays an important role in the development of normal, healthy immune system. In particular, it is involved in the selection of the lymphocyte. And what is lymphocyte? It is a subset of white uh, blood cells. Okay? That will go on to help defend us. Okay? Defend us from uh, various uh, infections, you can say, and thus they protect us from lymphocytes that could potentially attack our own organs, which is known as autoimmune disease. The thymus gland, it is located in the neck above the heart okay uh, see this is thymus okay so that means it is located in the neck above the heart the function of the thymus gland is to generate mature t lymphocytes t, t lymphocytes means white blood cells that help the immune system fight off illness so you can say that uh, any damage to the thymus gland can cause an increase in infection. Okay, so these are the functions of thymus gland that it plays a role in the immune system. It produces thymosin, thymic humoral factor and thymic factor. And it helps in uh, maturation of T lymphocytes which is a subset of white blood cells. Okay. Now, thymus, thymus, this gland, it originates from the embryonic endoderm. As I have taught you, that we have three germinal layers. Ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. So, this gland, that is thymus gland, it is uh, derived from embryonic endoderm. And it is located in the media stenum on the dorsal side of the heart. And how much it weighs? It weighs about 10 to 15 gram at the birth time. And it grows up to 30 to 50 gram during puberty age. However, after midlife, it weighs only 10 gram. And how does it look like? This uh, thymus gland, it looks uh, pinkish in color, slightly elongated and it is bilobed mass. And it plays a major role in the development of the immune system. Okay? Now moving on to forward, that is thymus essentials. The thymus gland, it is located behind your sternum. What is sternum? Sternum I have taught you. It is a breast bone. Okay. So a thymus gland it is located behind your breast bone and between your lungs, between your two lungs. And it is only active until puberty age. Okay. After puberty age or you can say after teenage, the thymus starts to slowly shrink off and it becomes replaced by fat that is adipose okay as i have taught you students that the function of the thymus gland is to produce thymosin thymosin is what it is a, a peptide hormone you can say which is secreted by thymus gland okay so thymus it plays a important role in differentiation of t lymphocytes Okay, and it also promotes production of antibodies by providing humoral immunity. 
So uh, thymosin is a hormone of thymus and it stimulates the development of the disease fighting T cells. Okay. So you can say that the degeneration of thymus gland it occurs in the old individuals leading to decreased production of thymosin thereby weakening the immune response. Okay. Now moving on to forward. Uh, see, as I have taught you that thymus gland is very active during childhood and it plays a, a crucial role in developing and improving a child's immune system. Because the peptide hormone known as thymosin is secreted by thymus gland. And thymosin, it plays an important role in differentiation of T lymphocytes. And these cells, that is T lymphocyte, they produce cell-mediated immunity. So the main thymus gland function is to produce and process lymphocytes or T cells. Lymphocytes are white blood cells. As I have told you that they are subsets of white blood cells which are also known as leukocytes. After the white blood cells mature, they leave the thymus gland and get settled in the spleen. Spleen is graveyard of red blood cells. Okay. So, after the WBC mature, they leave the thymus gland. And thus, they get settled into the spleen, which is a graveyard of RBC, that is red blood cell, and lymph node, where a fresh batch of T cell is produced. These white blood cells are the body's immune system, and thus they protect the body by producing antibodies, and that spot, uh, stop the invasion of foreign agents, such as bacteria and viruses. These cells, they ensure the proper functioning of the body system and they look after the wear and the tear of the organs. Okay. Another function of thymus gland is to prevent the abnormal growth of cells that may lead to cancer. And what is cancer? Cancer is the indefinite growth of cells. Cells, they keep on dividing and dividing. And that is cancer. So another function of thymus gland is to prevent the abnormal growth of cells that may lead to cancer. The T lymphocytes, they travel from bone marrow to thymus gland where they remain until they get activated. Okay, so that means T lymphocyte, they travel from bone marrow to the thymus gland where they remain until they get activated. But after maturity, the lymphocytes, they enter the blood stream. From there, they travel to other lymphatic organs and they provide defense mechanism against inf infections or diseases. Okay. So, uh, now come to the, its uh, histology. The thymus gland is a lobular structure. As I have told you that it is elongated bilobed mass. That means it has two lobules, which is located on the dorsal side of the heart and the orator. The thymus, it plays a major role in the development of the immune system. Because it, thymus, it produces a peptide hormone known as thymosin. Thymosin, it plays important role in differentiation of T lymphocytes. And these cells, they produce cell-mediated immunity. Thymosin hormone, it promotes the production of antibodies by providing humoral immunity. Thymosin plays a major role in differentiation of T lymphocyte which provides cell mediated immunity. Okay, don't go into deep of it uh, that what is cell mediated immunity and what is humoral immunity. Just for the time being just know that this thymosin which is a peptide hormone which is secreted by thymus gland. It plays a major role in differentiation of T lymphocytes and they provide cell-mediated immunity. 
In addition, thymosins, they also promote production of antibodies to provide humoral immunity. Thymus is degenerated in old individuals and thus they result in decreased production of thymosin. As a result, immune response of old persons, they become weak. You can say that the degeneration of the thymus gland, it occurs in the old individual and thus it leads to the decreased production of thymosin, thereby weakening the immune response. Okay? The thymus gland will not function throughout a full lifetime as I have told you, but it is very active during childhood days. But it has a big responsibility when it's active. Because it helps the body protect itself against autoimmunity. That means autoimmunity means when body cells, they fight against our own cell. The, that, then that phenomena is known as autoimmune. Okay, and that immunity is known as autoimmunity, which occurs when immune system turn against itself. That means it starts to kill its own cells. The thymus is special in that, and like most organs, it is at its largest in children, because it is very active during childhood days. It weighs around 10 to 15 gram at the birth time and it grows up to 30 to 50 gram during puberty age. However, after midlife, it weighs only 10 gram. Okay? So, thymus is special in that unlike most organs, it is at its uh, largest in children. Once you reach puberty, the thymus starts to slowly shrink off and thus they become replaced by fat. But by the age of 75, when, when a person attains the age of 75, the thymus is little more than fatty tissue. Fortunately, the thymus produces all of your T cells by the time you reach puberty. Before birth and throughout uh, childhood, the thymus is instrumental in nature because it helps in the production and maturation of T lymphocytes. T lymphocytes are also known as T cells. A specific type of WBC that protect the body from certain threats including viruses and infections. The thymus produces and secretes thymosin, a hormone which is necessary for T cell development and production. Okay. Now what are the functions of thymus gland? Thymus uh, function is chiefly to develop T lymphocytes or T cells. Once they mature, these cells they leave the thymus and they are transported via blood vessels to the lymph nodes and spleen. What is spleen? A spleen is a graveyard for RBCs that is red blood cells. T lymphocytes, they are responsible for cell mediated immunity, which is an immune response that involves the activation of certain immune cells to fight against infections. T cells, they contain protein. And what, uh, what is the name of that uh, protein? T cell receptors that populate the T cell membrane. That means many T cell receptors, they are present on T cell membrane. And they are capable of recognizing various type of antigens that provoke an immune response. Okay, I hope it is clear to all of you. Now that uh, T cells, they contain protein and that uh, protein name is T cell receptors and they are present overpopulated on T cell membrane which is capable of recognizing various type of antigens 
such as bacteria, viruses, anything, okay, any foreign antigen that provokes an immune response. So this is how thymus functions. Now, T lymphocyte, they differentiate into three major classes in the thymus. And which are those three classes? These classes are cytotoxic T cells, helper T cells, regulatory T cells. Cytotoxic T cells, they directly terminate foreign antigen, whether it is bacteria or virus. Okay, so first class uh, of thymus or the T lymphocyte is cytotoxic T cell. Now the second class is helper T cell. They precipitate the production of antibodies by B cells and they also produce substances that activate other T cells. Okay, and now the third category is regulatory T cells. It is also called as suppressor T cells. These cells, they suppress the response of B cells and other T cells to antigens. So, I hope these three categories are clear to you all. Now, students, so far we have studied thyroid gland, parathyroid gland and thymus. So, let's see its effect. Thyroid gland, its hormone is T3 and T4. What is its effect? It helps in increasing energy utilization. It helps in oxygen consumption. It helps increasing the growth and development. Thyroid gland, that is calcitonin, hormone it secretes. It decreases the calcium ion concentration in body fluid. I have already taught you in detail about the thyroid gland. Please refer to that presentation also for the better understanding. Now the second hormone is parathyroid which I have already taught you and it uh, produces hormone PTH, parathyroid hormone that is PTH. What is its function? It increases calcium ion concentration in body fluid. Okay and uh, now comes thymus gland which we have just studied. It produces a hormone named as thymosin and its effect is that it helps in the maturation and functional competence of immune system. Okay. So this was all about the thymus gland in my next section of the presentation will be studying about the pineal gland. So till then, stay tuned and keep watching Edupedia Word videos.